Okay, so we left off, and we had a uh, an error, which wasn't that one. But um, if we run our app, um, there we go. We have this uh, problem here in the sorry. It was saying in the main file, main line five. It just it was having a problem. Um, here it was just saying attempt to index field question mark a boolean value. Um, okay, so it was like well, I mean. I thought, well, if I look at the main file here, it says it's going to game, so is there something wrong here? Because, um, well, is there a game.lua file? Because essentially that's what this means. It means open the game.lua file. And so we look and we say, well, we've, we've got a game.lua file, so what's happening? Why isn't this working? Um, so you can go back and, and look at everything else, and I mean, you know, you start going, well, have I spelled everything correctly and so on. In this case, everything was okay. And what actually happened in the last video was um, this is actually it, it was it was okay like we included um, we, we in required the storyboard and we created a new scene and again it's good just to check your, your spelling for typos little typos all the way through um, if you're trying to debug stuff or fix it and then so we have this create scene function which is a function built in well part of um, part of um, not director, it's called uh, the new one, storyboard, that's it. And um, so, okay, so in create scene we add all our, um, we add all our variables, uh, all the graphics that are going to be, so we, we move them all in there, and then there's the end of the, um, the create scene function. And then we had another function called enter scene, where we put all our event listeners, which actually call the functions and get things moving. And then we had an exit scene function with nothing in it, and a destroy scene function with nothing in it. Okay, and that's actually all okay. Um, one thing we should do here is here down the bottom we've just got these functions. Like these are the functions we wrote. They've got nothing to do with storyboard. So we need to move them though. So I'm actually just going to get rid of that comment for now. We've got three functions: scroll city, activate jets, and touch screen. This one's a touch event. These are both enter frame events. Remember. Activate Jets is called from inside touchscreen, and Scroll City's got nothing to do with the other two functions. Anyway, I'm going to select all three of them. I'm going to cut them and place them above the Enter Scene function. So I'm putting them below the Create Scene function, but above the Enter Scene. And that's just so, um, just in case, like when Enter Scene runs, it's going to call Scroll City, right? But if, um, when this file loads, if scroll city function is below where it's called, you can run into problems because it's going to start calling a function that may have not loaded into memory yet because the file's read top to bottom. To prevent that, if we put our function above the function call, so here, these, like when this file loads, it's going to go top to bottom. So scroll city activate jets touch screen. These functions will be loaded into memory by the time they're called and then we won't get some sort of runtime error, so it's the only reason to move those functions. Okay, so they're all there, but what the important bit is, we're not quite finished, so when you use Storyboard, you also need to add these um, event listeners. So to do that, we're going to go and um, right down the bottom here, uh, so we've added the four functions, um, create scene, enter scene, exit scene, destroy scene. We just need to add event listeners um, to actually make them run, so I'm just going to say scene, which is a variable we created last time. So add, but anyway, just, just call it scene. Add, add event listener, and I'm going to say create scene, and just type scene. All these references to scene just refer to the variable that we created way up here. Scene equals storyboard. So it's referring to just the whole scene, basically. And so we need to add the event list, so we need to say, we'll call the create scene function. And I'm going to copy this and paste it three times because we need an event, add, to add the event listener for the create scene function, for the enter scene function, for the uh, exit scene, and for the destroy scene. So again, create scene is where we add our graphics, enter scene calls the event listeners. At the moment, exit scene and destroy scene aren't doing anything. Let's try that. And still not quite there. Let's see if we've gotten any further. Oop. Okay. 
Um, okay, so hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, it's going to be this. So right at the end, whenever we use storyboard, we need to say the very last thing is return scene. Okay, what have we got? Yay, it worked. Okay, here we go. We're in business. Except, I'm noticing... It's peculiar. The, uh... Touch function's not working. I'm starting it. It's just not responding. Let's see if we're getting an error. Sorry. Um, dispatch event line 78. Alright, let's take a look, eh? Um, okay, so line 78. Function on the enter scene. Uh, doesn't like this one for some reason. Um, let's see if I cut that and I'm just going to try putting the touch, adding the touch event above the the others. No, that's not it. Okay, I had a quick look. What it is, and um, this is uh, so, so in here in the uh, create scene function. Notice we've still got like local that keyword for declaring a variable. We're going to get rid of it. Okay. What local is, without going into too much detail here, um, there's plenty you can read about on the web and stuff. Variable scope, right? So, local meaning local to this function file, local to every you want to be. But anyway, to get our um, these functions basically, or this function to talk to this function, we just need to take out that keyword local. I think what was happening is it was, it was making it local just to the create scene function and nothing else could then talk to city1. If we just declare it globally, like without the local keyword, then it can um, can find it. So we're back in business. So it's working now. Our city's scrolling and our jet's moving, which is good. Um, so again, you know, just the old health warning. I haven't used storyboard a whole lot. So like with this Generally, it's better practice to make everything like with a local keyword there, um, but we're not. And um, so, yeah. Anyway, um, it's a it's a bigger topic like the local, the global kind of thing. Generally, it's better to create local variables, to keep everything safe from change. But um, anyway, we'll leave it like that for now. And we'll move on. So next video, we're going to add the start screen and the restart screen. And then we're getting, getting quite a long way.